what's up welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is Brittany what's up so today we have a very exciting video to film so influencer sent me the new Becca releases for the Becca bright eyes campaign or campaign and so they came out with a new corrector in a different shade and they also came out with a cool under eye brightening setting powder and then they also came out with a under eye primer and so I really wanted to try this out on camera for you guys and kind of do my first impressions over the new stuff and so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be trying this all out on camera and you're just going to try it out with me and it's gonna be so fun and so yeah if you guys want to see me try out these new products then go ahead and keep watching hey guys so please excuse the background I'm not using my usual background just because I feel like it's been making my videos really warm kind of like orange lighting and I haven't been liking it so I'm gonna try it this way and see how the lighting turns out um, but I just recently got my Influencer Vox box and I really wanted to show you guys what I got. Um, so if you don't know what Influencer is, basically they send you products to review. Anybody could sign up, um, but you get points on how much like social media you have and if you're willing to review the products, they'll go ahead and send you some complimentary products to go ahead and review. So in this week's Vox box, it was collaborated with Becca and I got all their new products, which I'm going to show you guys. Um, so it comes with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, which they only had one shade of this and I really, really wanted to try it. Amanda Insink here on YouTube raves about it and so I really wanted to try it and they um, recently came out with a darker color. And so they sent me that. And then they also have this Becca Depuff Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer, which I'm super interested in just because I've tried a Smashbox Under Eye Primer and I really, really liked it because I don't like to use eye cream in the morning because I get little, like it messes with my concealer. And so this is really interesting to try out just because it kind of gives you the same effects as an eye cream, but it's an eye primer. So it goes well with your concealer. So I'm really interested in trying this one out as well. And then last but not least, the last thing that they sent us was this Becca Set With Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder, which is super exciting. I cannot wait to try all these products. Um, the only bummer to the stuff they sent me, this is what everything looks like, isn't it so cute? And it says like Becca Bright Eyes on it, um, is that, so I did a little survey before they sent me the product so they can know what color I am and stuff like that, and I said I was light medium, but for some reason they still sent me the medium to deep corrector, which I don't think I'm going to be this color just because I feel like I'm a more light to medium rather than medium to deep. So I was really, really sad about that just because I really wanted to try the light corrector because that's one I've been swatching and getting excited about. Um, but they ended up sending me the medium to deep shade. And if I show you guys a little pamphlet. So this skin tone is supposed to be for the light one and this one is the medium deep. And as you can see, her skin tone is way darker than mine. And so I do feel like they accidentally sent me the wrong color, but we're still gonna try it out just to see if it works on my skin. And if it does, that's pretty cool because this is one of the newer colors. And so if you're looking to see what that looks like, I'm gonna be trying it on today. Okay guys, so I went ahead and zoomed in so we could get started on trying the products. Now I don't have anything under my eyes. The only thing I have on my face is my brows done. And I did kind of spot conceal some pimples because I'm breaking out a lot and it looks very gross. So I wanted to cover that before we got started. Um, but the first thing that we're gonna be trying out is this Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. This is what the box looks like, super cute. And you guys are gonna freak when you see this packaging it's so pretty like look at that it's so gorgeous it's like this clear packaging and then you could see the product right there in the middle so here's a closer look of the packaging super cute and then it just pops open like this and I'm gonna dip my finger in there to fill it oh my gosh it feels like a balm kind of like a lip balm feels very smooth. So on the pamphlet for the primer, it says that it combats signs of fatigue with skin loving ingredients, reduces puffiness with caffeine, keeps skin looking healthy with antioxidants, matcha green tea, soothing and cooling with cucumber and cool act. And then it says light optic 
pearls instantly blur brighten and depuff under eye bags and then it also says preps the under eyes for smooth and seamless concealer application now this retails for $32 so it's pretty pricey and so for the application it says to swirl and warm between fingertips then pat under eye along orbital bone avoiding the lash line so I'm just gonna rub my finger in there and then it says to pat under the eyes It feels so weird putting this under my eyes because it feels like a lip balm. So I went ahead and put it on and then my memory card got full so I went ahead and changed it but when I first applied it I didn't really feel any cooling under my eyes at all it just felt kind of normal but now that I like time has passed by I could definitely feel the cooling sensation under my eye which it feels very nice it just like makes your eyes feel very awake. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in now a little bit more so you can see the difference. So under this eye right here is oh, the eye that I have the primer and so it's supposed to depuff and kind of wake up the eye. So what do you guys think? Do you see a difference? I don't know if I definitely see a difference. Well, it does seem a little bit tighter on this side than this side, which I really like. And I love the cooling sensation. It just makes it feel really nice. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye. I'll just go ahead and keep you guys zoomed in. And I'm just going to pat this under my eyes. So um, it's not really helping the darkness. It's just kind of tightening everything up. And I feel like it's pulling it up a little bit, like to where it's not as baggy. And you can really go ham in there. I'm just like really rubbing my finger in there. Put it right here. It seems a little deep. Yeah, and so now that I just applied this side, I don't feel any cooling sensation at all. But this one still feels very cooling. So it just takes some time for it to like kick in. And so while that is setting in, I'm going to go ahead and open the next new product. Now, hopefully this color matches me. Like I said, it does look very deep. Um, so it's just called the Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And I never tried the other one either. So this is going to be my first time trying this as well. So this is what the packaging looks like. Super cute. It looks exactly like the other corrector that they have. And this is the medium to deep color. So at first I didn't think that this would match me very well, but it is a corrector and I have used like orange correctors before and they worked out for me. I just had to like do a lot to cover them. I used this, um, where is it? I've used this LA Girl Pro Concealer before and it's a really dark orange color and this is meant for darker skin tones. So I'm pretty sure I could get away with this one. Um, just because it is lighter than the orange, but it does look more like my skin tone whenever I have foundation on, rather than a brightening product for under the eyes. But like I said, we're still going to try it out. So if you look at it, it looks like it has like an oil sheen on it. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera, but that is interesting. That must be like the light reflecting properties in it. So for the corrector, it says pearls with peachy undertone neutralize darkness under the eye area and that it instantly adds light and lift to brighten the under eyes. And then it says a backlight technology reflects light to draw attention away from fine lines and wrinkles. And this retails for $32 as well. So they're both the same exact price. So for application, it says to warm between fingertips and gently blend under the eye area. A little goes a long way. Okay. So I'm just going to dip my finger into the product. I'm going to use this one. My nails are kind of in the way. That is what the color looks like. Like I said, it does look really dark compared to the other one. But I mean, I'm pretty sure that's really good for deeper skin tones. I already dug my nail into it. But as you can see on my finger, it does look super duper oily, which that's what scares a lot of people about the other one, that it looks really sticky and oily and you're like, why would I want that under my eyes? But we're just going to try it out. So I'm going to apply it to my veins because that's usually where I like to correct is where I have those green veins. And they were totally right about a little bit goes a long way. 
feel like I apply too much. So with that under eye primer, I do feel like it's very slippery under here. But I don't know if it's just the corrector by itself that's slippery, but I feel like it has something to do with the primer. I might have put a little too much. And of course, this is my first impression, so I'll probably try it in different ways later on. It definitely looks um, like it's reflecting light, like it says. I don't know if you guys could see, but it's kind of like patching up right here. So I'm just going to take that off. And I feel like that's all I'm going to do for this side. So this is what it's looking like. I don't know if you guys could see a difference. I do feel like it corrected the green a little bit under my eyes where I have those veins. But it didn't completely cover them up. But compared to this side, it is really helping. Okay, and now I'm just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other eye. I actually, I feel like I want to try using a brush. So what brush shall I use? I'm going to take this Elf Flawless Concealer Brush just because this is one that I have that's absolutely clean. And I'm just going to dip it into the product and apply it with this and see what happens. Put some right here as well. It does about the same thing with the brush as it does with the finger. This is what the product's looking like after I used it. Um, but as you can see, my under eyes are actually doing the opposite effect right now. And they look a little bit darker just because the color doesn't really match. Um, but once I have foundation and everything on, it should be a little better. I have like fuzz or something on my lip. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a mess. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation routine and do the rest of my makeup off camera just because I want to kind of keep it strictly like first impression over these products. So I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer and everything and I'll have everything I'm using down below in the description. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did my foundation and I was going to do my concealer off camera as well, but then I thought you guys might want to see what it looks like on top of the corrector when I'm applying it. So as you can see, the corrector still is a little bit more orange in my foundation but it kind of blends in a little bit better now and so I'm just gonna apply my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer under my eyes and so I just apply some like down here and then on the outer corners of my eyes just because I don't like to put too much product in the inner corner because that's where I have the most creases and I'm using the color light sand and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in with my morphe contour and highlight sponge so it totally covered up the orange and everything looks fine now. It does look a little bit more luminous than usual because usually my Tarte Shape Tape is pretty matte. But with that um, brightening corrector under it, of course it's going to brighten and add some luminosity to it. So I do feel like that um, it was way easier to cover up rather than like an orange corrector like the LA Girl one. I feel like I don't really gravitate towards using this just because it really is really dark for my skin tone. And I feel like it takes a lot just to cover up the orange. But this one, I just put my concealer on top and it covered it right up, which I really like. So I'm not really seeing any difference coverage wise. It kind of looks the same. Um, the only difference I'm seeing is that it gives me a really nice kind of glow effect. It looks really wet under my eyes and really bright, which I do like and everything looks kind of smooth so far. And now we're gonna go ahead and move on to setting it. And so they did come up with a new setting powder. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. It's brand spanking new. Um, so this retails for $25. So that is pretty affordable for a powder. Um, usually they're around $30 to $40. Um, but I don't know how much is in this. Maybe it has a little bit less product. Let's see. So it has 0 0.09 ounces. 2.7 grams and if you look at a regular powder it has 29 grams so it has um quite a bit less product so that's probably why it's more affordable this is what the packaging looks like as you can see it's a reflective top and then it just says becca on it yeah it just says becca super cute and then you can see the powder right inside through the side this is what the inside looks like. It has a little peel off thing that I'm going to have to take off. 
I'm so excited about this guys. I can't wait to try this. Um, so let's go ahead and read a little bit about this. So it says, this light reflecting powder brightens dark circles for a refreshed finish. Um, it's a weightless formula, instantly diminishes the appearance of fine lines. That's very interesting. Keep skin looking healthy, hydrated, and skin loving antioxidant rich raspberry stem cells and Australian berries. Hmm, interesting, interesting. So I took the little top off and then I'm just gonna tap some into the lid. Now this reminds me a lot of the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I did like that at first, I liked it a lot and I used it a lot, but then after a while I got tired of the brightening because it was super brightening and I got a little bit more medium skin tone so it was a little too much. So hopefully this is not too crazy and it doesn't give you like flashback or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe off a brush so it's nice and clean so we can try this powder out fully on its own. So it's very finely milled. I don't know if you are gonna be able to tell on camera. It looks way different on my brush than other powders because it's so finely milled. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out these creases before we set it just because this concealer is already creasing. And then I'm just gonna put it under the eyes. Wow, that looks really pretty actually. That looks so beautiful. It looks like very soft and smooth. Like it did a little filtering under my eye. Let me show y'all. So this is the eye that I set with the powder and as you can see it just looks very soft focus under my eyes. And this is the other eye. Oh my gosh, I really like it so far. So I feel like you don't really even need that much powder on your brush. So I'm just gonna do the same thing to this eye. So I have a little still left on the cap, so I'm just gonna use whatever's left on here to kind of set my eyelids as well. So this is what both under eyes look like after setting them, and I also put some on my eyelids as well. And so far, I'm really liking it. I do feel like it did lighten up my concealer just a tad bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera, and then I'm gonna come back on camera, and I'm gonna take a flash photo and see if it gives me any flashback and so if that doesn't happen I feel like it's a really good setting powder for under your eyes um, but yeah I'll be right back okay guys so I'm back and this is how my face looks after everything's done I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture and see if there's any flash under my eyes from the setting powder so let me go ahead and just turn my flash on and take a pic really quick So there's absolutely a no flash on my face in this picture, which is super good. That means that the setting powder doesn't have any flashback and you're going to be okay. There's not going to be a white cast, which I really like. So my final thoughts on the products is that the corrector was still kind of dark and I still felt like I want to try the lighter one because I feel like it would react on my skin a little bit better. Um, but that color wasn't that bad as I thought it was going to be. It corrected some of the green under my eyes from my veins and so I just kind of really want to test it out some more and maybe just keep it on the outer parts of my eye not so much in the inner parts because it did start to crease a little bit right here but that might just be from me because I do crease right there a lot. Um, as for the setting powder, I really, really liked it. It doesn't brighten too much to where you look like opposite raccoon eyes and you just look too white under here, which I really liked. And it also gave like really soft focus effect. As for the under eye primer, um, I really like the way this felt under my eyes. I feel like I would like to wear it on like no makeup days and just kind of wear it under there just to kind of pamper my eyes. That's how good it feels on the skin. It feels very relaxing and cooling and just nice on the skin but as for under concealer I did feel like it made the corrector and concealer kind of slide around which I didn't like because I just want the concealer to stay in one spot and not be so slippery um, but I do have to try it some more and see um, if anything changes maybe I need to use a different powder or maybe I need to use it with 
um, concealer only and not the corrector. It just depends. So I just really want to try it out some more. And so overall, I'm just going to keep testing these products. And this was kind of just my first impression over her new stuff and also the new color of corrector. And so, so far, so good. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up so I can know to keep doing these first impressions over new products. And if you have any questions for me, leave it in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so three times a week. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!